Hello, my name is Sam from GameCash. Today, I will be showing you how to create your own custom jobs for Dark RP. If you haven't already made your Gary's Mod Dark RP server, I will link a video in the description, as this is a prerequisite in order for this project to function. I also suggest downloading Notepad++. The link for that will also be in the video description. Now that you have your Gary's Mod server up and running, let's begin. Firstly, you'll need to download Dark RP Modification. The link is in the description below. Alternatively, you could do a quick Google search. You will then want to open up your server folder. Navigate to the add-ons folder and extract the contents of the zip into that folder. We can now begin to customise your server. Open up the Dark RP Modification Master folder, go into the Lua folder and into the Dark RP Custom Things folder. Right click the jobs.lua and open it with Notepad++. Find the custom job line, copy and paste the job template below the specified line from the description. You now need to create a name for your job. I use GameCache in this example. You need to make sure that each job that you make has its own unique identifier. The team underscore GameCache segment has to remain in all capitals in order for this to work. Next to Dark RP Create Job, you'll also need to change the contents inside the inverted commas. This section is how your job will appear in the menu. This part does not need to be in any specific letter case. Now, we're going to choose a colour. The configuration specifies RGB, which means that the colour is made up of three numbers. You can choose your own colours and find the number's ID by using a colour picker tool. I've linked one in the video description. For this instance, I chose my own colour, then I copied the numbers in order and pasted them into the brackets as shown. Next, we need to choose a model for our job. You can download any models from the workshop. In this instance, I'm going to use a Mafia model that I found on the workshop earlier. I've gone into the in-game queue menu, scrolled down to add-ons, and found the model I've downloaded. I copied the model name to my clipboard by right-clicking and pressing copy to clipboard. Copy and paste this model name into the inverted commas on the model line. If you'd like to add more than one model to your job, then just follow the format on screen and ensure that you replace each repeated copy with a separate model. Next, you need to choose a description for your job. In my example, I've just put in a short sentence to explain what it does. If you want your job to have weapons, you'll now have to go into the key menu and repeat the same process as what you did with the model earlier. Right click and copy to clipboard the weapon of your choice and you'll then want to paste that within the inverted commas on the weapons line. You can have more than one weapon of your choice, just make sure that they're separated by commas and they're within their own inverted commas. The command line is for when people may not be able to access the job menu or find it useful to switch jobs using commands. I find it's best to set this as the job title, which in this instance is game cache. The max line determines how many people can be this job at any one time. Enter however many you would like. Salary is how much your job will passively earn over time. Set this to an amount which correlates with the difficulty of the job. Leave admin set to zero, unless you're making a job which is exclusively for admins, in which case set it to one. I will be covering how to make on duty jobs later in this video. If you'd like your job to have a vote each time someone wants to become that role, set this to true. If not, leave it as false. Has license means if your job has a gun license. True for a license and false for no license. Can demote means if the job can create demotion votes against other players. True if they can and false if they can't. 
Now it is time to determine the category of your job. Having categories is important as it allows you to keep your job menu looking tidy. I've set mine to tutorial for the moment as we will be making categories later in this video. If you want your job to start with additional health or armour, you'll need to add a player loadout section. The first line which is player loadout equals function PLY you do not need to touch. However on the line below with PLY colon set armour you can customise how much armour you start with upon spawning. You can always change the armour to health and customise that too. If you want you can have both armour and health. Just separate them on two different lines. Just make sure that the end is after your health and armour changes. If you wanted to make a job which is for a certain role like an admin or donator for example, you can use a custom check to determine if the player who wants to use that role has the required permissions. Of course this works with the ULX group permission plugin of which I'll go through in a separate video. If you only want a specific set of groups to have access, just make sure that they're listed after the get user group in inverted commas. It's important to note that the check will only look for roles which match it exactly, so make sure that you've entered the correct group name, otherwise it will not work. If this role is made for police activities for example, you'll want to define that they have the permission to carry out their duties. At the bottom of the jobs file, you'll find a section which allows job definitions for three roles, one of which is the default team which you spawn as when you log in, who are able to police the streets, and the hitman role. If you wanted to add a team to any category with the exception of the default team, of which there can only be one, you just have to follow the format given in the description. Replace the team name to whatever the team name is, and then make sure it follows the format of the rest of the roles. Now if you're all done editing, save your job lure file and go back to your custom things folder. Right click and edit the categories lure file. I'll leave the template in the description for you to copy. With the name of the category it has to be the same as what you've specified in your job lure. Leave the job line as it is. You can choose whether the category starts expanded or collapsed on the start expanded line. Change to true or false as you wish. The colour line is how it will appear in the menu. You use the colour picker that was linked earlier in order to choose a colour. Leave the can see category and finally the sort order. The lower the number, the higher up the job category will be on the menu. Remember to save this file and reload your server. Congratulations! You've now made your first job list. If you want to see more videos like this, or would like to ask any questions, post them in the comments below. Shortly, a ULX video will be coming out to help you with permissions. Hopefully that helps, and as always guys, have a nice one.